Yo, so here is the situation. You made a couple of meshes which all use the same texture, right? And you move them into city scanners, blah, blah, add those import folder. So you have the meshes here and those are the textures. Uh, each of those meshes uses the same texture. So right now what I have to do basically is to rename each one of those, like this one, the color map to sol1 underline c and then sol1 underline d sol1 underline i and so on and so forth and do that for each and every mesh basically copy those for this one for this one so that, that's extremely annoying so i wrote a script but uh, watch this till the end okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a new folder here called main and then i'm gonna move the meshes here into main and i'm gonna make a new folder called textures and I'm going to move the textures here, okay? Uh, and they are set up exactly like this, uh, C, D, I, N, S, without any underline, without anything at all. You're going to go to my website called um, intense.ws. Uh, let me open it. So right here, well, the link is going to be in the description. And you go to resources, quickly rename multiple files for CT scan assets, and you're going to download this thing fast rename that bat. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to show you what it does. So I set it up on my desktop. Here it is. And this is the script. So uh, you can see it's this one fast rename that bat. Uh, basically, you're setting two folders, uh, as I already said in, in this one, the textures one and main. If you want for whatever reason to choose a different folder on your desktop or whatever, you can change the entire path here to see users, your username, desktop, and whatever. But this is easier because you already work in that folder, all right? Uh, this command, I'm just showing you that I'm not installing viruses or something or Bitcoin miners. Uh, Dear does, uh, li is listing all the PNG files in this folder, and then it shows all the FBX files in this folder. And then for each PNG file, it's gonna go and find the file name of the FBX and it's gonna copy it over there. And you can either double click this file. It doesn't matter where you have it saved as long as the path file here is fine. You can just double click it and it's gonna work. It's gonna show a lot of text on the screen, but I'm gonna show you what exactly it does. All right, so I'm gonna go to CD desktop, change, dire change directory desktop, and I'm gonna run the file like fast rename fast rename that bat okay and i'm going to show you exactly what it does so i'm going to go back into the import folder and in main and watch here okay so i'm going to run this enter and just wait bam all of the files are completely renamed and it basically starts like this it, it lists all the textures that you have in the textures folder it lists all the meshes you have in the main folder and then it goes for each uh, basically what i showed you here for each PNG texture. So current texture is color map, current mesh sol1, source of the texture, destination, where it has to go. So it's gonna end up with this file name, sol1 C PNG. And uh, basically in Windows, the script is always asking you, do you have a file or a directory? And I'm just uh, doing F basically here, uh, F, so for file. And bam, it's gonna copy it. So you don't have to uh, do the command thing that I did. So let me just delete all of those. And uh, the way I set it up in the textures folder, it's still going to keep those files just in case for the backup, in case you fuck up something or I don't know. But you don't have to do the command. You can just double click it. Bam, done. That's it. And if we go back into the main folder, they are already copied. All right. Take care. Peace.